Colorado lawmakers are responding to the crisis in Afghanistan and weighing in on the decision to remove U.S. troops. KRDO News Channel 13, Sydney Stell joins us live in Colorado Springs with their responses today. Sydney. Statements came flooding in just a few minutes ago from several of our local leaders, largely expressing support for our Afghan allies and highlighting the urgency of getting U.S. citizens out of that environment as quickly as possible. The Taliban tightens their grip once again on Afghanistan seemingly overnight. Colorado leaders are addressing the situation. Senator John Hickenlooper releasing a statement Monday calling the situation, quote, heartbreaking, saying the Taliban's hold is especially painful for veterans, service members, and those who lost loved ones in the Middle East. He also believes the U.S. needs to do everything possible to get American citizens and Afghan allies out safely. Senator Michael Bennett echoing that sentiment, saying, quote, for 20 years they did not abandon us. Now we can not abandon them. We're also hearing from Governor Polis, who issued a statement saying he's saddened at the fall of the Afghan government and particularly the impact it will have on women and girls in the country who are now, quote, at risk of being forced out of school and even their chosen careers. He says he's long supported ending the war in Afghanistan, but says the rapid fall of the U.S. backed government, quote, shows the true folly of our 20 year nation building effort. He ended his statement by saying he's glad no more Colorado families will have to, quote, grieve the loss of a loved one lost in Afghanistan. Congressman Jason Crow out of Aurora, who served in Afghanistan himself, says he believes the exit of U.S. troops came too late. Since April, I've been very clear that we should have started this evacuation months ago. And had we done that, uh, tens of thousands of folks could have been brought to safety. They could have been done deliberately and methodically. And we think that that was a missed opportunity. Meanwhile, Congressman Lamborn making perhaps the boldest statement of the day, speaking out to KRDO after an unrelated event happening at Fort Carson, expressing concern about the potential of terror attacks on the U.S. now that the Taliban is back in control. And the kind of latitude that we saw 20 years ago on 9-11, where people were able to hatch plots against the U.S., will be something a threat that we have to be exposed to again. We also reached out to Congresswoman Lauren Boebert. We have yet to hear back. Live here in Colorado Springs, I'm Sydney Stell, KRDO News Channel 13.